They didn't do their job for a whole month, but state senators did find the time to dole out some hefty raises for top Senate aides. The biggest wage boost is Mortimer Lawrence, the top aide to Senate President Malcolm Smith, who got a salary increase of $16,000. Backdated to January, he's now making 177000 We caught up with Senator Antoine Thompson, who says he didn't know about these raises. Well, how could I know that there's over 1,000 people that work for the state Senate? How could I know when... Each employee gets a raise who doesn't even work in my office. That's impossible. And for somebody to say that they were not aware of it, I think those types of things are discussed within it, particularly pay raises of this magnitude. I would doubt that one individual would do it. He would have to discuss that with other members of the conference. I only know about the people that work for me. And it does appear that some people who work for Senator Antoine Thompson are seeing more in their paychecks as well. Yes, of course some people did. And of course some people got went to take other jobs and some people, you know, didn't get as much of an increase. It's based on merit. A spokesperson for Senate President Malcolm Smith says the raises had been scheduled long before the coup. Two deputy secretaries for the Senate majority got two pay raises totaling $55,000 each, bringing their salaries to more than $140,000 a year. And it's ironic that after we put in rules reforms to try to change the culture in Albany, that someone tried to slip this in under the wire uh, so that it wouldn't, you know, so that it wouldn't uh, get caught. And uh, they got caught.